In this video, I'm gonna show you some moves and skills you can use in a wide area. So whether you're a winger, a wide midfielder, sometimes a striker makes a run out here, a fullback getting forward, it's very important that you know what you wanna do. So we'll go into the skills, I'll give you all the examples, but I want you to have the right mindset when you're in this situation. So first of all, when I'm in this situation, a lot of us, we see the defender in front of us, or maybe he's a little further back, and we think we have to beat him. Well, if this guy's gonna lay off me and he's gonna give me space, I don't even have to do the move. I wanna put the ball into the box, especially if my teammates have already made the run. If your teammates have already made the run, you see this guy, now you're trying to beat him. They've stopped their runs, they've already gone into the box, now they have to shuffle back out, defenders are marking them, so you've taken too long to make the decision. So sometimes the best move, the best skill in this area, is just get it out of your feet and whip it into the box, put in a good cross into the box. So play me another pass. So first of all, when you get this, analyze the space, as that ball is coming to you, before it's coming to you, you already know, okay, he's off me. As soon as I get that, I see the runs are coming in the box. Well, if I have time, I'm just gonna play it. Well, I'm gonna get it on my right foot and I'm just gonna play it into the box. Okay, so realize that your job as the winger in this area is not necessarily to beat the guy. It's to deliver the cross. Now, if the cross has to come early because your teammates are making the run or the space is there, then take that option. If, however, your teammates haven't gotten to the box, no one's making good runs, there's no options, well now you're in a situation where, yes, I may have to beat this guy, so now I can get my head up, I can get a better angle, and I can make a, a better decision and give it a better quality cross. So I want you to use moves, but I want you to use them when they're necessary. So another thing I want you to think about, can you play me another pass, is your positioning. So we'll just wait for a second. So a lot of players, they might be marked by this guy. Maybe the ball's coming across in the midfield. They're the winger, they're the wide player. They're receiving it like here. Well, he's already on top of me. He might get on top of my touch. He might force me to go backwards. I don't have the time and space to put in the cross or to go at him with speed. So what I wanna do in this situation as that ball's traveling, I realize that it might be coming to me. And obviously this is a standstill example. I'm probably making a run, but you wanna think about getting space for yourself. So as that ball's coming across, instead of trying to receive it here, I wanna check out here. So now, I have space to either put in that cross or I can go at him with speed and make my decision. So think about getting a little space for yourself. Now, when that ball does come to you, play me again. If I'm deciding that I'm gonna go at him because I know it's not the right time to cross, my teammates aren't in the box, then I'm gonna do that without hesitation. So again, the ball's coming across, I'm finding my space. I already know, boom, I wanna get at him. So I'm going without hesitation. I'm not receiving the ball, play me one more time. I'm not coming here, receiving the ball, now getting my head up, now, okay, uh, hesitating, hesitating, uh, okay, he's closed me down, and even if I do beat him, where am I going? He's right on top of me. So go without hesitation, think about getting your space for yourself, analyzing, is it the right time to cross, or should I make a move? Or should I make a move in this situation?
sometimes your best move is just to take the space. We're all so concerned about beating and embarrassing this guy right here, when really all we have to do is get to that space before he closes you down. So I want you to understand that being a good winger isn't about having fancy skills. That doesn't matter. What matters is your end product. How many chances do you create for your teammates? How many assists do you get? How many times can you beat a guy and actually get a shot off? So if you wanna be a great winger, yes, you wanna have the ability to do those skills, but you really wanna focus on your final product. So think about the quality of your cross, getting more assists, helping your team win more games. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions and subscribe for more videos.